Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a totalitarian regime vows to eliminate recessive genetic disease alleles from its population by outlawing reproduction of recessive homozygotes. It will begin with uh, autosomal recessive disease cystic fibrosis. In their country the cystic fibrosis allele has a frequency of 0.02. The government's goal will be to have this frequency how many generations will this take? And I want you to show a portrait of this person. This is Adolf Hitler, and um, he had fancy ideas about genetics. Uh, for example, he liked the uh, idea of the survival of the fittest, uh, idea about dominance and recessiveness about uh, uh, that some nations can be superior to the other nations and even for its own nation he had uh, certain ideas how to purify nation from uh, such people who would be uh, genetically inferior so would have some genetic disorders and he had ideas uh, such people have to be uh, whether castrated or uh, surgically or chemically. And uh, now let's solve this problem if uh, his ideas would work or not. Uh, and uh, regardless of the ethics, but just uh, from the mathematical point of view. And by the way, uh, ideas of Hitler actually influenced uh, genetics in uh, Russia, which have been forbidden for 20 years. And uh, so, uh, basically, because of the also Hitler's uh, support and view of the genetics in the wrong way. And now we will uh, see how wrong he was and probably any mathematician who uh, probably was close to him could show him calculations uh, that would be something like uh, following. So, uh, in order to solve this problem we have to uh, learn just one formula which is uh, 1 divided by A and A here represents recessive allele. So dominant allele A and recessive allele A and uh, basically this would represent first generation and second generation uh, if we eliminate all people who is going to be homozygous recessive or whose genotype would be small a small a uh, in next generation uh, basically uh, we would see a picture like this. So uh, A plus 1. Once again, if population has genotypes as uh, heterozygous, homozygous recessive and homozygous dominant, and if we eliminate this genotype and only uh, would allow people who belong to these two genotypes to reproduce because we cannot tell for sure that uh, this person has this allele because phenotypically this person would look normally just like people who has two normal alleles and in the next generation we also would see uh, the same pattern so a plus 2 and so on. So this is first generation, second generation and third generation. So if we can express this number as a fraction, let's do it. So what is uh, 0.02? This is 2% or we also can say that uh, as a fraction it's going to be 1 divided by 50. If we divide 1 by 50 we are going to get 0.02 and this is going to be our first generation so first generation in the 
second generation we would see that our frequency is going to be 1 divided by 50 plus 1 and in the next generation, third generation we are going to get 1 divided by 50 plus 2 so exactly what we see here but this time we are using numbers so now you see that uh, from frequency which is uh, 0.02 or 150 to frequency that is going to be half of this number which is going to be 100 so once again this number represent 2% and 100 represent 1% now you see so what uh, we would need 50 generations so we will need 50 generations just to come from 2% of the recessive alleles in uh, population to 1% can you imagine 50 generations is about 1000 years so uh, person have to grow up to the age at least 20 have uh, their own children so uh, we also can say that each generation takes 20 years and if we multiply 50 by uh, 20 we are going to get 1000 years just to decrease this uh, recessive allele that cause this genetic disorder from 2% to 1% so as you see uh, the ideas of uh, nation uh, purification would never work as intended and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.